One minute to post time. The horses have now reached the starting point. They're loading into the gate for the plate trial stakes. Waiting on Mob the Warrior to complete the plate trial field. They're at the post. They're off in the plate trial stakes. Mobilizer between horses along with Big Red Mike who comes on and takes the lead. And Pizarro takes a hold of Hollinger as they move in front of us for the first time. And it's Big Red Mike. Hollinger is keen on the outside in second and Mob the Warrior is third. Mobilizer is tucked in behind horses in fourth position. Dees Wando's up close early in fifth. Then we have Giant's Tomb and a Ghost Fleet. And Captain Canuck is the early trailer. 24 and 3 for that opening quarter. And it's Big Red Mike isolated on the lead. Big Red Mike by a length. Hollinger inches up ever closer now, glued to the flank of Big Red Mike as they enter the back stretch. Mob the Warriors out there three wide. Giant's Tomb, the chestnut. Moves within two lengths of the lead. Tucked in nicely behind horses is Mobilizer. Dees Wando shuffled to six now, has four to come. Then Ghost Fleet, Captain Canuck. 49 and three for that opening half mile. Less than a half mile remaining. Big Red Mike and Eureka Rosa da Silva. They continue to be hounded by Hollinger as they run into the turn. Mob the Warriors getting a little nudge out there, three wide. Mobilizer travels well in behind horses. Giants Tomb is under a ride now with just under two and a half furlongs to go. And they ran three quarters in one thirteen and two. Big Red Mike, and there's the hole for Mobilizer. And he comes on through for John o Jones. And it's Mobilizer on the inside. And Big Red Mike on the outside. And those two in a battle of wills at the eighth pole. Giants Tomb on the far outside. Hollinger has faded. Big Red Mike running out of his skin. On the inside is Mobilizer. Then back to Mob the Warrior. Big Red Mike does it. He wins the plate trial stakes over Mobilizer and Mob the Warrior. Giants Tomb was fourth. The unofficial result of the eighth race, the winner number two, Big Red Mike. Number three, Mobilizer was second. Eight, Mob the Warrior third, and seven, Giants Tomb was fourth. The running time won at 50 and at two fifths. Thanks a lot, Renee. I got a, an excited Nick Gonzalez here. Nick, uh, you and Eureka had a plan going in. Yeah, it looked like it was a race with not a lot of speed in it. And even though we'd been trying to get them to, to relax in the morning, didn't look like it was uh, time to do that today. So we just 
tried to let him run his own race, and he did it. Well, Eureka rode him perfect. Uh, tremendous performance. All right, off of this race, uh, what's it look like for the Queen's Plate in three weeks? I think you can answer that <laughs> one for me, can't you, Sandy? All right, Nick, congratulations. All the best. Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's go over to Don. Don? Oh, Sandy, thanks so much. And with me, a very happy Eureka Rosa da Silva. Wasn't so happy right at the start of post parade, though, Eureka. What happened? <laughs> you know what? He wa was walking so relaxed outside. But once uh, he came inside the track, he, he t turned into, a, I'm the man, you know. And I really love it. And I, I was enjoying him. And Lava Sada, he just got a little bit upset. But you know what? He's a great horse. Tell me about how he rated in the, mi in the mile and an eighth for you. Was he comfortable under a line? Oh, he's very, very comfortable. He, you know, we did a, such a nice pace, and uh, and uh, the horse came inside me. He's a very, very nice horse, but this horse fights so hard, and I'm very proud of him. All right, Eureka, what do you have to say? Uh, thank you, and good luck to everybody. <laughs> we back. <laughs> we back. There you go, Renee, Jim. All right, so there we get a little bit of uh, feedback from winning trainer Nick Gonzalez and winning jockey Eureka Rosa da Silva, who gets back-to-back Plate trial victories, Jeff, and Big Red Mike just did not want to give this victory up down the stretch. Heart of a champion in his stakes debut, and he's going to come away with a big victory. And we saw some race riding down the stretch as well, Chad, because uh, De Silva made it as tight as possible with Mobilizer on the inside, and Big Red Mike, who uh, last season tipped his cars that he was going to be a good horse after a main special weight victory on December the 6th by three lengths on that day was victorious over True Strike. Uh, came back with a, a decent performance, but then that letdown effort last time out. But today, they changed tactics a little bit, and they said, you know what, there's not a lot of pace in this race. Let's go right to the front and play catch me if you can. Now, right now, you're seeing the horse about to get hosed down, and uh, that's nice on a day like today. It's a bit of a humid, sticky day in Toronto, so that helps things out immensely because this horse will now go back to the stakes winner's enclosure to get a couple of pictures taken, and uh, then we'll go back to the barn before finally being able cool, to cool out. And this horse will actually uh, take a bit of a sip of water, too, at this point here. So, Big Red Mike, a, a big price pays $19.90 for the win. Mobilizer finishes in second at $6, $3. Mob the Warrior got third, $4.70. The Exactor with the two Big Red Mike on top, $102 even. The try of two, three, and eight, that returned $820.40. Finishing fourth was the seven, that being Giant's Tomb, $2,478 and change. And the pick three for races, six, seven, and eight, that paid $577.80. Now one of the most intriguing storylines for this year's plate is the fact that two of our best horses like to be forwardly placed. They are Big Red Mike and Arctic Fern. Arctic Fern though proved in his last race that he can rate. Big Red Mike I think can rate as well and he was very gutsy in victory here today. He had every right to toss in the towel because a good horse came on the inside. That was Mobilizer but Big Red Mike was able to win it to pay $19.90 for the win. The time by the way very good. 150 and 2, that's a very good clock. And if you compare some of the times of the earlier races here today at Woodbine that were at this distance, you look, for example, at So Elite, who's a pretty darn nice racehorse, 151 and 4. And also, Chad, earlier today we had another mile in the eighth race that was won by a Mike DePolo horse named Smart Sky, and that was won in 152 and 3. So the overall time of this race is very, very good. This is a legit victory and a nice horse in Big Red Mike. Yeah, I thought pretty well rated through was Big Red Mike by De Silva, and he had lots left down the stretch to be able to fend off Mobilizer, who, as you mentioned, coming around that final turn, looked like he was going to maybe try and get the jump on him. He was one of the horses I thought really stood out in the walking ring pre-race, and I, I think he's continuing to move forward. He's a, a competitor that's only got four lifetime starts, and he's going to move forward, and uh, don't count Roger out just yet for another Queen's Plate because... Uh, Mobilizer, I think, is going to be a good one. And Hollinger, we just got to wait for that bounce back. Uh, Hollinger, just not the same horse this year, it appears, for whatever reason. Uh, Hollinger was in a perfect spot, was right beside this horse the entire way. And for the winner to go on and to win, and for Hollinger to stop, that's concerning. So I'm not sure what's up for Hollinger right now at this point, but he's not the same horse that we saw from last season, whereas this horse has moved it up a couple of notches. Now, what about the scheduling to it, this horse? Was trained perfectly into this race. Let's now go upstairs, track announcer Dan Loisel with more on the plate trial festivities. Being right into the winner's circle in the infield, the winner of the plate trial stakes, number two, Big Red Mike. Big Red Mike, a chestnut, the three-year-old gelding by 10 pins out of region and flashy by vice regent. A homebred. 
Bred by the Terra Farms Limited, now by Terra Racing Stable, Nick Gonzalez, the winning trainer. Second winner this afternoon for winning jockey Rico Rosa da Silva. Number three, Mobilizer, was second. Eight, Bob the Warrior, third. And seven, Giants Tomb, was fourth. Chad, just looking at uh, this horse, the winner's enclosure, about to buck off to Silva. Doesn't seem like this horse is too tired after a mile and eight. No, it looks like he could probably go again. <laughs> and, uh, you know, what saved that? Because three weeks' time, he's going to get the biggest test of his career. Uh, a horse that you pointed out, stretched out last time, stretched out again here, and now he's going to have to go even further next time. But you think he's up to the task? Uh, I do think he's up to the task, but it's going to be tough for him because uh, there are some tougher uh, guys right now and perhaps gals that we'll see later on coming up at race number nine that are sitting on the sidelines and just waiting for another chance to run for some big bucks. But this horse, again, is being hosed down right now as we speak. He did get a little bit hot after the race this horse did, and you can tell that, but uh, deservedly so after the performance he turned in today. But I want to talk about the pedigree with this horse too. This is truly a Canadian pedigree. It's a grandson of Smart Strike and is a grandson of Vice Region. I mean, that's Canadian breeding, Canadian breeding all over the place. So nice to see that this horse picks up the win. Mobilizer finishes in second. How about Mob the Warrior? A much better effort here today to finish in the third place spots and Giants Tomb will finish in fourth. And there's a look at the presentation being made right now to Eureka Rosa de Salva. And we'll go upstairs one more time to Dan Loisel. Making the presentation to the winning connections of Big Red Mike, winner of this afternoon's plate trial stakes, Mr. Nick Eves, president and the chief executive officer, Woodbine Entertainment. I just want to get back to something that Chad said as well earlier today. Mobilizer was able to really have a nice performance as well, and uh, that was great to see because uh, Mobilizer, I think next time it might take a different path and go towards the outside and see if that path is a little bit better. But whenever you breed a horse and the horse is able to win a big race like the play trial, this is extra, extra special. And I can't wait to catch up with the connections here that are involved in the breeding of Big Red Mike and hopefully get some thoughts from them. Let's now go to them right now. Thank you, Renee, and excited Dom Romeo, uh, his big red mic winning from wire to wire here today. Uh, your horse, uh, your gelding was in the money four times this year, but gets his first win of this season in a stakes debut. How good is that? Oh, it's just wonderful, yeah. Particularly the plate trials, you know. And this year, of course, the queen coming for the, for the queen's plate makes it that much more exciting, yeah. Your horse has never gone a mile and an eighth before. What did you think of his performance today? Oh, I was impressed. Really, I was impressed, yeah. And yeah, can he was challenged a couple of times, <laughs> and he dug in, and that's, that's, that's good. He sure did. He held it off, and we can expect to see you at the Queen's Plate. Oh, I'll be there, yeah. yeah. Congratulations, yeah, yeah. Dom. Thank you.